Hey there, this is the best budget friendly 3D printer from Creal called Enter 3 v 3 ke You can purchase this printer for just $279 or 24,000 rupees. That's the same price for an Enter 3 v 2 in 2020. I said this printer is the best budget friendly 3D printer. Here is why. It has 500mm per second speed with 8000mm per second square acceleration, fully hands free auto bed leveling, 4.3 inch color touch screen, app and software printer control. 300 degrees Celsius 60W ceramic hot end which will support multimedia filaments, air drive extruder and a lot more. No other printer has this many specification in this price range. So in this video, let's see the full details of the Creality and the 3 v 3 ke 3D printer. Let's get started with this video. So the Ender 3 v 3 comes in this cardboard box. After opening the box, first we can see some accessories which include a manual and some tools in a plastic bag. Next is another plastic bag full of tools and some filament. Then we got the power cord. Next is the spool holder frame. Then the display and finally the spool holder. Below the foam sheet, we can see the printer. The printer comes in two parts. First is the XC frame with the extruder and second is the main body. Here is the base body which is made with high quality metal. Power input socket and switches are on the side. The Y axis is belt driven and catered with two frames. These are the two grooves for fitting the top frame. We can find any knobs for adjusting the bed and we can see that this is a not cell based auto leveling bed. This is the top frame. You can see that the Z axis is supported by two rods which are connected and synchronized together using the belt. X axis linear rail is also upgraded which will help to move smoothly. You can see the direct drive sprite extruder setup also. Now let's open the plastic box. In the first one, we got a de-clogging tool and some manuals. In the second bag, first we got a hyper PLS sample, some bolts, a cutter, then some spanners and island keys, again more bolts, then a pen drive, and some more bolts, and a nozzle. The filament holder frame comes with a filament runout sensor, which is very interesting. Now let's assemble the printer. First let's place the top frame in the base. While placing, give some extra care to the wires. After placing, we can secure them. After that, connect the wire. Next we need to secure the Z axis to the base. Now let's fix the display to the base. This display has two USB ports, which are for USB drive and camera. On the back side, we need to connect the display cable. After fixing the display, let's fix the filament spool holder to the frame, then connect the filament sensor to the socket. Next, we can connect the extruder ribbon cable just like this. Then we can secure it with the adapter. After that, I connected the C axis motor and X axis motor. We can adjust the Y axis tension using this screw. Also, we can set the X axis tension using this screw. Now, our printer assembly has been completed and it took only 10 minutes for me. This printer has 220 by 220 by 240 millimeter build volume. Now, let's remove the extruder cover and let's see what's inside. As you can see, this is a Creality Direct Drive Sprite extruder. This is the ceramic hotel and it has a high speed fan also. The heating element and the thermistor are placed on the extruder so we can easily replace the nozzle. Great design. On the extruder cover, there are two fans for cooling the printing model. For a high speed printer, this is necessary. This is the 220 by 220mm flexible PE belt plate. It has two slots on the back so we can simply align it to the bed. Now let's turn on the printer. Now you can see the Creality logo on the display. After booting, Select the language. We can connect the printer to a network. After that, printer will perform some self tests, which include nozzle heating, wet heating, nozzle cleaning, and setting the C offset, etc. Then printer will perform the auto leveling process. The printer will check the levels of bed in 5x5 mesh. Now let's load the filament. I have inserted the filament through the sensor, then I heated the nozzle and just inserted the filament to the extruder. After loading the filament, let's print the benching.
and we can see the printing the printer is super fast and printing is perfectly okay it took only 60 minutes for the benchy this is the benchy the quality is amazing no stringing no defect great job On the display we can see and set all the printing parameters, the display is very smooth and responsive. We can directly send models to the printer using Reality Print Slicer. Also we can monitor and control through the software. We can also control and print models using Reality Mobile App. While printing, the printer will make 16 decibel sound and that's ok for a non-closed fast printer. Now I am printing with flexible TPU filament and the output is perfect. You can see the result. I never expected this result from an open printer. Next I am printing with a PETG. This also comes out perfectly. We can also add some extra attachments to the printer like camera and vibration sensor. So in a nutshell, this Ender 3 V3 KE can produce high quality super fast multi-material prints without failure. The online monitoring and control give much more freedom while printing the model. The color touch display, flexible PA sheet, filament sensor and auto bed leveling works perfectly without any problem. So all in all I can say this is the best budget friendly 3D printer for all. Great job Creality. Please check the video description for buying link and more details. So that's all about Creality Ender 3 V3 KE. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new from my video. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.